Let's learn how to deploy Mixtro on GK with only two L4 GPUs. I will go through a live demo and you can follow along and get it done yourself as well. Or you can follow along with the blog post. First of all, let's calculate and see how much memory is needed for running Mixtraw and will it fit on two L4 GPUs. For this demo, we're going to use GPTQ quantization, which allows us to load the model in four bits instead of 16 bits or eight bit or 32 bits. And the estimated GPU memory when we're using four bit GPTQ can be calculated by using this formula. Um, effectively, you do seven times eight because we're using the, uh, there are seven models of eight billion parameters uh, and this represents a billion and each parameter is four bytes. And normally when you load it in 32 bits, um, it would be um, divided by 32, but because we're using only four bits, we divide it by four. And then we have some overhead, which is 20%, and then the estimated GPU memory would be around 33.6 gigabyte. Um, a single L4 GPU has 24 gigabytes of memory. Um, so yes, two L4 GPUs will be able to fit the Mixtral 7 times eight billion parameter model. Um, if you want to learn more, you can read another blog post we wrote about how to calculate GPU memory uh, for serving large language models. This video is structured in four sections. First, we're going to create the infrastructure, which is a GK cluster uh, with a spot L4 GPU node pool. In the second step, we're going to download the Mixtral model on the a persistent volume and then later that will be used in read many only mode in the serving instances uh, in the third step we're going to deploy the mixture uh, model using gpdq uh, helm and vlm and then last we're going to try it out with some prompts to verify that it's all working as expected now let's create a gk cluster that has a cpu node pool that will run the system services that are needed for gk itself Quite straightforward, a very basic gcloud command. Um, we create a cluster, so inside the CPU only node pool for the initial node pool, and then we enable auto scaling. Now all that's left is creating the GPU node pool, which will have two L4 GPUs per VM. And you can see in the parameters I specified, this will be a G2 standard 24. As it has a name, the machine type is also G2 standard 24. Uh, which maps to a machine type that has two L4 GPUs attached and also attached two local SSDs. Um, enable auto scaling and also enable spot so they're not as expensive. Oh yeah, one more thing here you see accelerators type NVIDIA L4 and count equals two, meaning that we have it. And right now there's no, there's only, there's no nodes in this node pool, there's zero nodes, but um, you will see in a bit that it will automatically scale up to one once we actually deploy um, the Mixtral uh, model using VLM. Now that we're done with the actual infrastructure provisioning, we can start deploying the model. First, we need to download the model into a persistent volume. And we're going to do that by first creating a persistent volume claim. We are going to create this. And then next we're going to create a job that will download the model onto this persistent volume claim. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Um, we're going to use this job spec. I'll explain in a moment while I put it in. All right, and now we can take a look at what is in there. Um, so the main thing that we have, this is a regular Kubernetes job. And it mounts the persistent form that we uh, just created. And we have one container and in the container we use Python as the base image. And all we do is we download 
the model from the bloke which has GPTQ has been is provided in GPTQ format um, and then we download that to the slash model uh, directory and we mount the, the volume the persistent volume under slash model so once this job is done the end result will be that this persistent volume claim has this model downloaded from hugging face um, I already did this I already learned the model job so let's take a quick look at the blocks um, and hopefully we will see that it's downloading the model and yeah it is there you see it it's downloading at 190 megabytes per second um, just give it a moment and it should be done fairly quickly now that the model has been downloaded using the job that we just created we can go ahead and deploy Mixtral using a helm chart that we're maintaining um, and you can view it on github i put a link here in the blog post as well let's go ahead and add the helm repo where the helm chart is published um, i already had it but in case you didn't have it it would have edited it for you then we're going to create a values file that provides all the configuration that we're going to use with helm um, i will go over them in a moment but before i do that we're going to deploy the helm chart that's under substratus this is the helm chart re uh, path and then we're naming the helm release mixtral 8 by 7 8 7b instruct gptq and we're passing it the path with the values yaml file that we just created looks like that worked it's going to um, create a deployment create a kubernetes surface and a deployment will also um, cause it to create a pod and that pod will go into pending state first which is expected while it's doing that let's quickly go over the values file that we have um, we specify the model path to be slash model within the pod itself and that's because we're mounting a read many only persistent volume claim and we mount that under slash model <coughs> and that is using the source pv where we just downloaded the model to in the previous step um, so that's why we're using that you could also use a hugging face model id and repo but in that case every time you spin up the pot it will actually try to download that model from hugging face so by doing this whenever we scale up and scale down it doesn't have to re-download the whole model and the model is just instantly there or almost instant within a few seconds it can start loading the model into gpu memory um, serve model name is the model name that gets used when you use the OpenAI api endpoint with vlm and when you say which model it should use then you have to make sure it matches the model you put here for quantization we're using gptq so we can load the model in four bit and then um, the data type we're using half and you have to set it half if you set it to auto it actually throws an error i think b float versus flow 16. i can't remember the exact error but i had to change this um, max model lan i remember you had to change it to i set it to be the the length of the model um, and gpu memory utilization i had to decrease from 0 0.9 to 0 0.8 otherwise you run out of um, gpu memory we're requesting two GPUs and we're requesting two GPUs of t that are L4 GPUs. That's the this line. Um, we directly created with one replica, but you could also increase this. Um, I also worked on Linko, which is an M M ML proxy and uh, auto scaler for Kubernetes. Which All right, let's take a look. See if the pod has started running. It did start running. Um, let's also look at the logs. Um, and it looks like it is almost ready to start taking traffic and there you go now we see the it's running on port 8080 and we also have a kubernetes service exposed and we're gonna use that to do a local port forward service is running on 480 so as we specify and now we should be able to send it some cool prompt um, I already did that step just now um, we're gonna send it some very 
basic question who was the first president of the United States and let's do another shell and then we see what Mixtraw responds it says George Washington was the first president of the United States when he served two terms and then because I said uh, only 40 tokens it, it, it got cut off um, that's it yeah have fun with playing around with mixed stuff.